Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my fourth update for my Project Pan 2020. It started off as a 20 in 2020. There's definitely more than 20 items now, I think. Um, I'm doing this in the team Project Pan style, so I'm doing a rolling Project Pan, and the items sort of cover like a lot of different categories, like a total full face um, and some other extra items. So let's just get started. Item number one is this Delia Organics Nail and Cuticle Oil. There's progress. It's getting there. I can see the progress happening. It's definitely slow going. Based on my rate of use, this is probably going to be maybe half done uh, by the end of this year, which I think is fine. Um, I'm okay with that. It was 33.97 grams last month. It is now 33.49 grams. Item number two is this New Face Gel Primer. It's the like conducting gel that you use with the New Face device. This is in my project pan to help remind me to use my device. Did a little bit better this past month, not a whole lot. Um, it was 307. It is now 300. So <laughs> this is really strange. This is number one item that has like an even number. When I've been doing this video series this past year, I've been doing like the weight, the weights of each product, and the weights are always like like the last product, 33.49 or like 14.57. This month, there's an odd number of them that are an even number, which is very strange. I don't know, Twilight Zone, Aliens. So yeah, so I used seven grams, better than last month when I used four grams. I'm definitely slow on using this product. I definitely need to continue to remind myself to use it, so that's why I begrudgingly keep this product in my project pan. Item number three is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I have it in the shade 1.2 N. This is almost finished. The line is like right at the bottom. I'm just gonna like try and put this near the mic and hopefully you can hear this. Like, there's barely anything left. I think by the way that the product is sitting and because of the packaging, I think I thought there was more left than there actually is. I'm guessing there's probably about a week's left of use in this. So this will definitely be done in the month of May. Last month it was 22.53 and today it is 19.57. I totally skipped over an item in my list. This item is the Healing Garden Passion Rose uh, Moisturizer. I don't like this moisturizer a whole lot so I've been using it on my feet and it is now finished. So last month it was 76.97 and today it is 50.99. There's probably like a little bit maybe down in here. Uh, I'm sure if I cut it open, I can maybe get one more use out of it. I don't care enough about this product to actually cut it open and get another use. So this is done. So because this item is done, I am gonna roll in another item, but I'm gonna introduce that at the end. Item number five is also a foundation. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Foundation. I don't think they sell this anymore. Um, because that because I'm in Canada, I get the I get the one with the pump, and I think in the States it never came with the pump, which... Why, Rimmel? Why? Anyway, I use this actually when I'm filming, and this is a foundation that's like a bit of a love-hate relationship. Sometimes it looks really good on my face, sometimes it just looks terrible. <laughs> so once the Ordinary Foundation is finished, I'm going to focus a bit more on using this day-to-day. -day. Right now, I really only use it... Um, primarily when I'm filling, filming because it is a high coverage foundation. Yeah, progress on this was pretty slow this past month because I didn't do a lot of filming. It was 102.45 last month and it is now 101.19 grams. Item number six is this little mini Boing concealer. This is the hydrating one. I am pretty pleased on the progress on this. I, I think it might be finished um, next month. Particularly because if I finish that Ordinary Foundation, what I've been using, so how I was able to get a bit more usage out of this is I've been using it sort of like all over the face um, as like a mini foundation, um, which is actually not bad. It's actually a better way. This product would be better uh, benefit if you like made this bigger and actually made this a foundation because I don't think as a concealer it works. Last month it was 11.89 grams and it is now 11.57 grams. Item number seven I thought would have been finished this month and I'm so disappointed in myself that I did not finish this. This is the NYX um, Soft Light. Like it looks, from here, it looks like it's done. When you see the close up picture, it is not done. There's just like a tiny little bit around the edge. Um, I actually found, I kind of liked using this under the eyes as sort of a setting powder. 
I have really crinkly under eyes and I don't really like using powder, but this powder is like really sheer, like it's pretty fine. It actually was kind of working pretty well. So I just take like a small, I have this um, Real Techniques small brush and I just sort of tap it lightly under the eyes and I was like, oh, that's actually a good use for this. <laughs> kind of wish I figured that out sooner. Um, but yeah, so this will definitely be finished next month. It was 3.87 and it is now 3.14. I know based on the sculpt powder, this should weigh about three grams. So I have about a half, half a gram left, 40.4 grams left on this to finish. Item number eight is this Milani lip scrub. This is the sugar scrub. And I'm definitely getting usage out of this. I kinda, I kinda dug right in the middle just to see if I could like hit bottom. I'm really close to it. I, I think I was just curious to see how far away I was. There's less than half, I think, left in this. The issue I have with this, and I'm now kind of learning, is the oil base in this is, is really oily. So even if I use it and then wipe it off, there's still some oil residue. So what happens for me is sometimes I end up breaking out around my lips because there's still some oil residue left on this. For that reason, I probably wouldn't repurchase this, and I'm just not a huge fan of lip scrubs. I, I don't know why. This was 36.1 uh, grams last month, and it is now 35.02 grams. Item number nine is this Smith's Rosebud Salve, and I think I'm doing pretty good on this, even considering that I have introduced a lip balm project. I'm still using this fairly regularly. Again, I think the middle is starting to like really wear down, Still not sure if I can actually finish this by the end of the year. It's, it's hard to tell at this point. Like, I feel like I have good progress. I feel like there's still a lot around the edge. But then when I look at the photos, I'm like, huh, yeah, I am using quite a bit of this product. So, so we'll see. This is product number two that has a strangely even weight. It was 31.12 grams last month, and it is an even 30 grams this month. Item number 10 is the NYX Lip Primer. And this is one of those products, um, I've done some marking on the, the lid, so you can see um, how much progress I think has passed based on this lid. And this is an interesting product. So, I think I've determined that this product actually does help lipstick last a little bit longer. I notice, um, like when I'm drinking and stuff, like obviously lipstick will come off, but then it seems to be wearing down fairly evenly and not coming off right away. So, so I think it does help a little bit. Um, this is one of those products that every time I look at it, like it looks like it, it's not changing, but when I look at the photo, I'm like, oh, yeah, or like the measurement on the lid. It has changed. This is one of those products that, this is how nerdy I am. I'm super excited for like my halfway video. So what I do with my halfway video is I'll compare from the beginning of the month to like, or from the beginning of the year to like end of June, so like the six month progress. And I think this this product I will be pleasantly surprised by because I feel like it will actually visibly show a big difference. Even though every every day when I look at it, I'm like, yeah, it hasn't changed. Um, I think that's why I like doing the photos and I like doing the weights. I had a bit of an aha moment with the weights. I was like, it's kind of like personal weight loss. <laughs> I hate to say it, but when you see, if you're working on weight loss and you see the number on the scale change, it's motivating. I, it just is. And for any like, health person that's always like don't focus on the weight on the scale just focus on how you feel i'm sorry but seeing the number change is definitely very motivating i i still agree that even if the number doesn't change it's not necessarily a bad thing you kind of have to like take it in the context of how you've actually been working but anyway yeah i just i had like a bit of a psychological aha moment <laughs> when i was thinking about doing the weights of these products anyway Last month this was 11.31 grams, and this month it is 11.15 grams. Item number 11 is the Julep Lip Gloss, and this is another product that I'm happy to see progress on, particularly because I have introduced that lip balm uh, project. I'm still seeing progress on this, and it's like really exciting that it's like on the Julep word. I still have mixed feelings about this product. It's not my favorite lip gloss. It's not my favorite color of lip gloss. Um, once I finish this gloss in this project, I'm not going to replace it with another one, I don't think. So last month it was 24.68, and it is now 24.43. Item number 12 is this Bite Lip Crayon in Glacé, I think is how you say it. This was the birthday gift, so a lot of people had this. It's just a wee nubbin. <laughs> it's so almost finished. I was aiming to finish it in April. Probably knew based on my previous usage that that wasn't going to happen, but I think 
putting that seed in my mind saying you're gonna finish this in April forced me to remember to just use this product um, and finish it up. This is an interesting product. I don't love it. It's, I like it when it's worn down a bit. Is that weird? I feel like when I first put it on, it's just a little too intense. It's almost a little too gray, but as it wears down, it wears down in more of like a warmer brownie tone. So anyway, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this product if I, um, like this particular shade. I don't mind the product. Um, I've talked about this in the past. I'm not a huge pencil fan and, and I just don't know why. There's really no reason for it. This was 10.01 grams last month and it is now 9.96 grams this month. This is another product that will definitely be finished in May. So gonna have a couple things done in May for sure, which I'm pretty excited about. Item number 13 is this Milk um, Lip and Cheek in Work. I really just use this as a blush. I don't ever use it on my lips. I guess I could, um, but I haven't yet. Anyway, this one, pretty darn excited about. You can see on the top there, there's like the little plastic thingy. <laughs> so this is an interesting product because I can't screw it back down again. It's just been stuck um, at the top. I talked about this in my eyeshadow video, my pan up. Uh, palette video that I'm getting sick of this. I'm getting sick of the color. I'm wearing it today. I think the color, like it, I don't think it really goes with this eye look. Like I would have maybe put more of a pinky cooler tone and this is just maybe a bit pinky warmer toned. Um, so I'm, I'm an eager, <laughs> eager to finish this. This was 19.18 grams and it's now 19.01 grams. So I'm definitely like getting through this. The next item is definitely another one that I'm pretty pleased with my progress, particularly because I struggled with the Benefit What's Up. This one is definitely like a softer product, I think, so that's why I'm definitely getting through it a bit faster. And I've also been using this as sort of like a glowy primer, like putting it all over my face, especially under that uh, Ordinary Foundation, because the Ordinary Foundation is a bit sheer, so you can definitely see the glow of this through that. And I, I like the tone of this more of like an all over glow compared to like a cheek glow. I feel like it's not very lifting as just a cheek glow. Last month this was 10.78 and then this month it is 10.12. I think we're at item number 15. Item number 15 is this ColourPop lip liner in Oh Snap. It's just a wee baby, um, but there's still like, even though it looks so tiny, there's definitely a lot of product left. Like I definitely have a good several months usage left in this product, but I'm, I'm happy that it's looking so tiny because I'm getting through it. Um, I will probably replace this with another lip liner um, once this is done, I think, depending on when this is finished. If it's not finished till like October, I might be like, that's it. I'm done with lip liners for 2020. But I mean, this is what I'm, so I'm wearing this lip liner today with Marc Jacobs. Can't think of the shade name, but it'll be down below. This was 4.11 grams and it is now 3.85 grams. I'm also pleasantly happy with myself on my usage of my next product. This is the Hask uh, Minoy Oil. And for me, hair products are always, even though I've got a lot of hair, I find it really difficult to use hair products regularly because I don't like putting a lot of product in my hair, but I'm definitely enjoying this. I'm also using the Bumble and Bumble, I think it's called the Invisible Oil Primer. Um, and I think both of them are helping my hair. Like I don't have as many split ends. I still have split ends and like this part of my hair is still dyed. So it's still breaking a bit more, but I feel like overall it's definitely helped. Um, and my use on this is like, it's fairly steady every month, which is, is pretty good. This was 17.42 grams. And then another product that was strangely an even number, it is now 16 grams. My next item is this little color workshop eyeliner. It's just a black shade and you can definitely tell in the picture that it's gone down because it's now like the, the C on the word crayon is, is gone. Um, so I'm definitely getting through this. I definitely think I will finish this by the end of the year. I feel like I'm going through it at a pretty good rate. I'm using it today. Like I, I use it almost every day. While it's a pretty good pencil for like, it probably costs like a penny, maybe a nickel. We don't have pennies anymore in Canada. And the only thing I don't like about it is it does transfer to my lower water line. So, I mean, I don't mind that because I generally line my lower water line anyway. Um, today I, I lined it with a Urban Decay um, Rockstar liner. But yeah, like that's the only thing, like if you don't like transfer, I mean, this, these little guys transfer, but for like <laughs> the price of this, it wasn't bad. 
It was 3.64 grams last month and it is now 3.43 grams. I'm not gonna lie, this next product I'm a little disappointed in, but I kind of understand why it's a bit slower. This is the NYX Toffee. It's from that um, contour and highlighting palette. I've just pulled it out so it's easier to see the item. When I took the photos though, I'm like, I think I can kind of see the rings, but I feel like the use on this is very slow, probably because for two reasons. I introduced another product that's a bit conflicting, and this is also a lot deeper. Like it's still warm tone, so it's still bronzing. Um, so you can see it on my finger there, hopefully. But it's just, it's pretty intense. So I feel like I need to buff it on very lightly if I want that sort of goldeny glow. Um, so it's gonna take me a lot longer to go through this particular product. I'm definitely reevaluating, thinking about finishing that NYX um, face palette um, and maybe switching this out um, at the end of June with something else, like at the end of this quarter. We'll see, anyway. This was 5.57 grams last month, and it is now 5.52 grams. So in comparison to the other products that I used, the packaging weight of this is about three grams. So that means I have like two and a half grams of this to use. So it's definitely gonna take me a while. Another product that's gonna take me forever, this is the ABH uh, Shade Light Sculpt from the Cream Contour Palette. I use this every day. I'm currently using it today. And again, I find it can be pretty intense. So I use the e.l.f. stipple brush to use this, but I feel like, like there's definitely usage. I mean, it looks ugly, but um, there's a lot of product in here. I'm really, I'm not gonna lie, I'm regretting buying that cream contour palette. I bought it because everybody had it and I wanted to try it. I like the, the these shades. I haven't really used the lighter shades, but I'm kind of like, I really shouldn't have bought that. Anyway. This was 9.38 grams at the start, and it is now 9.2 grams. I'm gonna keep using this. This probably will stay in the project, I think, for the rest of the year. We shall see. For these next two items, I'm actually pretty happy with the progress, considering I literally introduced them last month. The first one is the Milk Blur Stick. Um, I'm not gonna screw it up in the pictures anymore <laughs> because it got stuck, and I thought I was gonna have a situation like the um, blush, but I couldn't get it back down again. So we're just gonna keep it closed, but we can see through the side, so that will help with uh, seeing the progress. Yeah, this is a very like, um, I'm, I'm seeing that I'm going through this very quickly. I like the scent of this. It has like a bit of a lemony scent. I don't like this as much as I like the Benefit Professional. I feel, I feel like this is still a bit dry. Um, like you have to, like when you put it on your face, you have to use like the heat of your face to help warm it up. And I feel like my face is not very warm. <laughs> so I have a problem with trying to like, get it to warm up and massage it in. But when I do, I do like it. Yeah, it's it's a nice product. I don't think I would buy this again though. I think I prefer like the professional. I think it's just more of like a product dispensing type thing, but I feel like the actual product itself is very similar. So when it started, this was 18.58 grams and we're already down to 17.71 grams. The next primer that I'm using is the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer. Why did I sleep on this? <laughs> I remember doing a video last year when I first got this um, and using this as sort of like a first impressions. Um, you can probably see there in the picture, in the, uh, it's a little bit bright. Um, there's definitely a good dip on, on this product. And I remember in that video, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really get why people like this. I get it now. I get it now. Um, the more I use it, the more I like it. Um, again, it has a nice scent. It's not lemony like the other one. It's, it's just more of like a fresh scent. But yeah, like once it warms up and you sort of like massage it in, it's definitely not uber pore filling. Like I have a lot of texture on my skin. I used to have really bad acne and really oily skin. So I feel like my pores are very large um, and it definitely doesn't really hide them 100%, but it definitely just like smooths everything out. And this is the kind of product that I feel like I can just put this on and nothing else and my face looks better. So, yeah, I, I don't know why I slept on this. I do like it. I do, I get it. I finally get it. I don't think I would buy a full size of this because again, the issue that I have with this is um, my current one is obviously drying out because um, I could tell by it sort of separating from the outside. I feel like the full size would be too much product. I don't think I could use a full size in the time allotted before it went bad. So the starting weight of this one was 33.73 grams 
and again another one that was like a perfectly even number this one is 33 grams we're almost at the end here three more products <laughs> so the third to the last product is the abh dip brow in taupe i use this every day i have it on my eyebrows today the the little hole in the bottom sort of changes sizes because i I sort of push the product around, but I can definitely tell like it's it's definitely wearing down in the middle. There's no freaking way <laughs> this is going to be done by the end of this year. Um, but I definitely um, think I'll see a lot more of the bottom of the pan by the end of the year, which I'm excited about. So I introduced this last month at 47.02 grams and it's now 46.98 grams. And my second to last product is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I really just threw this in because I am using this pretty much every day and I might as well put it in there so it's something that I can say like, yay, I used it. So I introduced this last month at 16.75 grams and it is now 16.32 grams. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> like, I don't like the wand. The ones that I used to have, and I think they were deluxe sample sizes, were like the squeezy two kind of like the Too Faced shadow insurance and I, I prefer that. I prefer a squeezy tube over the wand. I don't know why. I feel like I have more control over how much product I'm using. And I have one last product. This is a product introduction because I finished that Healing Garden moisturizer and I didn't want to replace it with another moisturizer. So I decided to put a fragrance, which for me is probably not a great idea because <laughs> um, I don't really use fragrances that often. I'm trying to use them a bit more regularly now that I'm at home um, and I don't have to worry about like a scent-free work environment or anything like that. And I'm also using this opportunity to play with scents. So like if I'm trying a scent out and I'm like, wow, I really don't like that. It's only me that smells it and not anybody else. Anyway, the product that I'm introducing it, introducing is the Bath & Body Works Gingham. Um, it's a fr fine fragrance mist. And I thought this would be a nice one. This is a nice light fragrance. I already used up a body cream with the same fragrance and I don't mind the scent. Um, and I feel like if I put this in my project pan, it will help me to actually use it. Otherwise I'll probably just like not use it. Um, and I thought this would be a very satisfying project to use because it's clear. So <laughs> it'd be easy to mark and easy to weigh and easy to see and be like, yay, progress. <laughs> is that stupid? Whatever. The starting weight of this is 257 grams. So we'll see how things go. I put a little marker. I have used this, so there, there is a little bit of a little bit of use, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things go next month. Um, and this either could be like the new face gel primer and terrible, or it could be like some of my other products with the hair oil, where I have like steady even usage, even if it's not a lot. I don't mind if it's not a lot. Consistency, I think, is, is key. I hope you liked my fourth update for my project pan. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I have one little ask for you. So I've been trying to figure out some videos to do, and I wouldn't mind doing a Q&A video. I've never really done a Q&A video. Um, so if you have a question for me that you would like me to answer, please put it down below and I can then put together a Q&A video, hopefully. If anybody asks questions, we shall see. If not, maybe you're like, I don't care. I just want to see your progress on products. I don't have any questions for you. That's cool too. Anyway, I hope you're doing well in this crazy wild world. Stay safe and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.